this is just an overview for people who are more or less already familiar with Kima, um, because the uh, the we talk a little bit about the Pakamara and the new ways of connecting uh, the audio to it using the USB interface directly to your Mac, which is which is really wonderful. Um, but so I'm just going to talk a few things about that. The, the entire universe of uh, Kima is, is gigantic, and, and I can't cover it <laughs> in many, many videos. Uh, first of all, uh, one of the things that got me a little bit was issue number one is you, you do need uh, to use, uh, with your new Pakamar, you need to use uh, Kima 7 plus uh, plus, not Kima 7 uh, plus. So if you, uh, if you see it, if you go to the about, it just shows Kima 7, but uh, this has to be 7 plus plus. You'll get a link to the uh, the correct version uh, when you when you uh, when you purchase it the the emails will come come with you uh, another thing uh, when I first got it I was a little concerned about the uh, the startup noise uh, of the fan but the fan itself right now if I move the now that was the right next to it you you can tell it's, it's not very loud um, when it's when it gets working perhaps it will be <clears throat> but I'm not too worried about it anymore the um, two and a half times as powerful as the Pecorana which I very rarely got to got to work hard so there there are some notes you'll, you'll they, they will tell you how to do this but the the first thing you do have to understand is for using it with with the, the computer uh, you do want to use audio MIDI setup so what I've done here is I've created uh, an aggregate device with my Pacamara, my Samson mic, and the external headphones. And the reason I did all that is so that I can do this other neat little trick I'd like to show you, which is, um, well, we'll get to that in a minute. But first of all, uh, I'll be set, set drift correction and everything too, uh, just so they, don't, they stay in sync. And also make sure that the uh, bit rate is set the same in all three of these uh these places so you can you can figure it here uh another thing you can configure is the number of out, outputs in your pakamar here i'm just using stereo so i just have two you can go up to uh eight or apparently even nine output channels which is interesting uh so notice this is the host usb c it's selected here host usb c you can also use the built-in three and a half um millimeter but i'm using i'm using the uh, host through the usb c cable we talked about yesterday, or in the last video, rather. Uh, and then this 48,000 here. Also, if you, you go to your project settings, one of the things that's a little confusing about Logic is that the uh, bit rate is actually selected in the project settings. And now everything is, is the same, so there won't be any resampling. All right, so I've... Um, change this to make this a little clearer what's going on. So I have mic to phones, which is the um, track that goes from my microphone, which is inputs three and four, and outputs three and four turns out to be the headphones. Now you'll look at this, I think you can see why it's doing that. If I go over to uh, audio MIDI setup here, you can see the Pacamar is first, so that's inputs one and two and outputs one and two. So this is input three, four and output three, four. Uh, the only confusing thing is that it does also um so uh this is three four is the phones but to the pacamara let's just jump to this one i had to use stereo out because the first it just uh, logic just calls the first output the first two outputs you call them stereo out so rather than one two it's called the stereo output i don't know whether that's just the way mine is set up but that's what i'm finding here so why why do this? Why do I have this aggregate set up with everything, and I have Logic set up uh, in the audio preferences here to use this aggregate device for both input and output? The reason is that now I can uh, control whether uh, the microphone that I have attached to the uh, directly to the laptop, the meteor microphone, uh, goes just internally here or I can send it into the uh, the Pacamara. So I am listening to the Pacamara here. See Pacamara to phone. So if I go over to uh, Kima and I go to let's say uh, um, you know the chopper and I play that, you can hear that. I can play around with it. Make it louder. I 
just to give you cycle and stop it. So that's, um, then you can hear the regular sounds and so on. Okay, so uh, the other thing I can do is go over to the other one that I had, which is this one. Uh, and this is a, um, a reverb. And what I can do now is going back into logic, I can control whether the microphone is going in here. Now note, I'm listening to both the microphone directly and I'm listening to whatever the Pacamara is sending. So I can turn on the mic to the Pacamara and turn off the mic to the phones and we'll just listen purely to the microphone as it's processed through the Pacamara. So that's what it sounds like. And as you can see, there's, there's some stuff going on based on this. I can adjust it with this, turn it down, modify it. So I have another uh, preset saved here. And this is what this one sounds like. And so I think that's, that's pretty neat. Uh, the neat part about it is that... Let's just shut this off. So let's just go back to direct. Uh, the neat thing is, is that this allows you to um, do essentially audio routing without using, without having to download any extra software. If you already have, if you already have Logic, you can use Logic to connect the, the audio devices that are on your, that are connected to your laptop uh, directly and route them in and out of the uh, the Pacamara, which I think is, is very cool. This is a feature that I know I was really excited about. Uh, getting. Uh, it was always a little difficult to record from your Pacamara because you're from Pacarana, Pacamara, from the Pacarana because you had to uh, connect another audio interface sometimes to do that. But now this thing has been really simplified and made a lot easier. The only thing I keep asking for is that, you know, they, we have the, it's connected to Ethernet. Why can't you just have audio over Ethernet? That's a whole, that is a thing, but uh, I think it's actually, there are some issues with uh, the Mac. It just doesn't recognize that someone has to write a driver. I'm probably not the right person to write the driver, but Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. So uh, let's just have a little outro here with uh, smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel where the angry bees will get you. <laughs>